Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Monica. I am a tarot reader and astrologer based in Australia. And today I am looking at Lenormand. In particular, a couple of three card Lenormand spreads that I did very recently within the last week. These were my morning draws and how they actually turned out as opposed to... <laughs> You know what I actually thought they were about when I first did the spread. So to me I haven't talked a lot about Lenormand. I guess um, I am you know primarily a tarot reader although I am uh, continuously refining my understanding and my technique with Lenormand cards and I find Lenormand um, you know Lenormand is a bit of a like a sister to tarot they're both a cartomancy uh, divination um, system, but that's really where the similarities end for the most part, for me at least, in my understanding of these two systems. I read with them very differently. I consider that they each have their strengths and their weaknesses. I wouldn't say that one is definitely better than the other. I just think that, yeah, for different occasions, you know, they've got their own merit uh, and their own place. And so in front of me, I have a uh, three card spread that I did um, actually this morning. <laughs> um, it's now late in the evening. So I did this three card spread very early in the morning before I set off on a workshop. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. And I did this using the Celtic Lenormand. So early in the morning, you know, I come in my, my room with my coffee, the first thing that I do is to draw some cards. And this is what I got. I got the scythe, the tree, and um, the heart. Okay, so now if you know a little bit about Lenormand, you might have some idea what this is about. If you're not familiar with the Lenormand, I'll give you a few keywords for each of these. And then I'll tell you about how this actually manifested in practice. So the side card here, number 10, is uh, one of the more unfavorable or negative cards in Lenormand. It's about a rupture. It's about a separation. There's often like a warning sign that comes with the side to be, um, be uh, wary of you know, using sharp things or perhaps even accidents. Um, but it's really seen as a negative card, a card um, that cuts. Okay, that's the side. It really cuts or it separates something. So um, it's a negative card because, you know, if you, if you get it, for example, in relation to your work, it can indicate a termination, right? You're getting fired. Or in relation to a relationship, it would be like separation. That's the side. The tree card is uh, a card of health in Lenormand, but it's also a card of growth. And the heart, of course, it's about something that you feel strongly about. Often it's about love or matters of the heart. But it's generally something that you have a lot of feelings towards. And it's associated with, you know, the heart is love. So I did this trio in the morning before I set off on my journey to a workshop um, that I was going and I went, oh no, I hope I don't have like an accident or, you know, a health crisis or something like you see these cards and um, you with, with the side, you know, Lenormand, it's to me, I wouldn't say it's black and white. But the side is a side. Like, don't try and put a positive spin on it because it's one of the negative cards in, in Lenormand. And, uh, you know, it, it's a warning. So I went off uh, on my workshop, which was a workshop on the herbal medicine of a herb called motherwort. It was about an hour and a half drive away, so it was quite a long way to go, but I really enjoy going to these workshops. I'm, I'm learning more about herbs. I, I love being surrounded by like-minded people and everything about it is just a really beautiful experience. 
And when I got there, I noticed that um, there were, you know, like in the center of the room, there were like, uh, there was a little bit of a, um, like an altar, if you wish, with some motherwort herbs and flowers, and also three oracle cards on the ground. And I thought, oh, I'll have a look through my herb crafter's tarot, which I had bought with me, and I'll see... You know, if I can find the um, the motherwort card, because I did recall that being in this deck, you know, and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll have a look, right? And off I went. I went through my cards, and when I came across motherwort, I had to laugh because this is the card. <laughs> so we have like literally. A scythe right that's a nice I'm not sure if that's a technical term for it but essentially I mean it's a it is a scythe it might be like a handheld one a smaller one but really it's a scythe cutting these green strands that the herb you know cutting uh, the tree in this case tends for something green like a plant growth of course and the other thing is that for my interest in motherwort stem primarily from its association with um you know working with healing uh, heart issues like irregular heartbeat and I, i've got some other sort of heart issues um and of course you know there, there's the heart you know a herb of the heart <laughs> so this goes to show uh first of all and I didn't know this as a seasoned reader, in a sense, not to panic about seeing the side. You know, I did think about, oh, this might not be good, but, you know, it's only at the end of the day that I can look back and sort of see how the whole thing unfolded. So I didn't panic about it or let it sort of cloud my day, um, which is good because, of course, in this case, the Lenormand was just so literal, um, I mean, it's funny. It really, really is. It shows exactly, um, you know, what part of my day was about. Because when I do, do a three card Lenormand spread in the morning, I'm not really asking so much as like a specific question. I'm, I'm more just getting an idea about, you know, the, the day ahead, how the day will go or something, you know, just something about my day. That, that will unfold for me, right? And so, um, yeah, it, it was just so, um, so apt and so spot on that, yeah, I, I had a, a good chuckle when I saw this. I've now got a second example uh, in a similar vein, um, and I'll just get the cards ready for that. Okay, so I did a three card spread a few days ago. Um, actually, it was only like, I think, two or three days ago. That has happened using the Malpertui Lenormand. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce this. And again, this was in the morning, and these are the cards I got. I got the home card, then I got the whip card, and then I got the fish card. Okay. Um, very quickly, for those of you who don't know. The home card in Lenormand is, you know, like um, familiar surroundings. It can literally represent your own home or things from within your immediate environment, your comfort zone, that sort of a thing. That's the home card, the house card. Um, the whip indicates a bit of strife. The whip is, it can be violence. You know, if you think about a whip whipping something, it's not a happy card. It is a negative card in the tarot. It does indicate repetition, but it also indicates violence, um, yeah, abuse, things like that. Like it's 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 not a, a good card. Again, it's a negative card in, in Lenormand, and Lenormand is not like tarot. A whip is a whip in Lenormand. It doesn't matter if you put flowers on this whip. It's still has the same meaning of um, abuse, violence, um, you know, negative connotations. It can also mean repetition, like, you know, when you whip something over and over, it's like a repeating action. It's a physical workout as well. 
um, and things like that. Okay, so I went, oh no, I thought I might have an accident in the home <laughs> or something like that. And then the fish card, you know, the fish is seen primarily as money and business, right? Financial transactions, money, business, that, that's fish, self-employment as well, but really it's a card of money. But of course, if you look at the card, you know, fish also talks about water, Okay, um, so there's an association with the water element. Well, long story short, um, come dinner time, I thought, um, you know, my kids were the neighbors and I thought um, I'll just quickly put some lamb on the barbecue and turn it down on low and go and quickly get the kids, right? And I mean, you know, I've done barbecues before, lots of times, no problem, you put it on low, it simmers away, fantastic, wonderful, smells good, <laughs> all the good stuff. Well, I go and get the kids and when I come back, I hear my son going, mom, like he's yelling at me, the barbecue's on fire. <laughs> and was it ever, I mean, it was a proper roaring fire. I think all the feather had accumulated at the bottom of the plate had also caught on fire and the whole thing was just like going crazy um, and I freaked out um, I there was a lot of running around and me yelling at the kids to get away from it because I was a bit paranoid about the gas bottle I didn't know if that would explode um, and um, you know my husband told me later that there's no way that can actually happen but of course I don't have any training or knowledge of that or I could see it was this huge fire uh, and the gas bottle, you know, I quickly turned the gas off and then I moved the barbecue away from the, <laughs> the house because you just couldn't put it out just by, you know, like it was closed, but the whole thing was just going nuts. And then I got the hose out and from the opposite end of the pool, I hosed it down and put it out. And my poor neighbors probably was, were wondering what the hell was going on because the, the smoke and clouds and everything was just... Yeah, um, it was uh, it was very smelly and very um, smoky. So if you think about it, you know this is like definitely an accident in the home. Whip in in the house, um, it is uh, something um, that's not good that happens in a home. And of course, I put the whip out. I put the fire out with water. This is just so literal like fish is water the whip is the fire and the home well that's the home environment so yeah i wanted to share this because i when i look back on it um you know when i look at like the whip card the whip is about like arguments fighting um violence like i mentioned before um, you know, a lot of strife. And there was certainly like the energy when I saw that fire. I was running around. I did panic. You know, in hindsight, I can say I wished I hadn't. I, um, you know, wish that I was all calm and collected, but I wasn't like for me. It was just such an instant panic moment. Run around. I tried to call my husband. He wasn't at home. You know, um, turn the gas bottle off and what, all the while thinking is this thing gonna explode in my face like <laughs> it was just like a proper moment of panic and that is the whip like that that's the whip to a T that energy of strife of anger of like you're, you're on a flight or fight mode it's um yeah very very um it's not pleasant and it's not something that I want to deal with and I take my head off to Anyone who works in emergency services, whether fire or health related, like ambulance or police, I don't know how people like that do it because for me that was just like traumatic. I had to sit down at the end of the day after all of that was done um, and just pour myself half a bottle of wine. And <laughs> oh, um, but anyway, I um, yeah, I thought, well, wow, that's like the second time in a week that my three card spread with Len Lenormand, which I do every morning, turned out to be so literal and accurate um, that you've got to laugh at the end of it. Like you really have to laugh at just 
um, how literal the cards can be sometimes. Um, and don't try and think too much into it. You know, if, if, if you get cards, um, in particular with Lenormand cards that are like considered as negative cards, because um, it, it could be anything, you know, and like I was saying previously with the scythe, going to a workshop, where, uh, you know, the card that I drew was showing very literally a scythe um, and harvesting foliage and harvesting greenery. So, anyway, I thought this was um, an interesting example to share with my viewers. And um, let me know if you work with Lenormand, if you have similar <laughs> experiences. Um, I think it's a fascinating divination system and one that I hope to share more of um, in the future. But until my next video, as always, thank you everyone for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting my channel. Until my next video, take care.